Are you looking for a great, no worry kind of express cruiser? Then come with me as we profile this 2004 Sea Ray Sundancer. She's a 340 express cruiser, very well powered with twin Merc Cruiser 8.1 engines with about 550 hours on her. She's loaded with upgrades from the chrome bow pulpit all the way to the satellite TV. So come with me for a quick tour on No Worries here at South Mountain Yachts. Here we are, Worries. Here we see our ground tackle. We've got a nice chrome plow anchor, stainless steel spotlight, windlass, and an anchor locker right there, along with the stainless steel forward facing horn. Coming down along the side, we see we've got a very large foredeck there. Great place, put some chairs or a mat out there and enjoy the bow of the bow. If you notice, Sea Ray has a nice rail right there that'll hit you right above the knee, keep you safe and sound as you move forward. Notice we've got the stainless steel port lights right here, nice curved windshield and there are all of our antennas right there. This owner's done a little extra bit here. And you can see he's got no worries here. Coming down along the side, we have our fuel fills right here, dual fuel tanks, and our Sea Ray badge. Notice we've got grab rails on the radar arch and windshield to keep us nice and secure as we move forward. We've got aggressive non-skid decking right here, oversized vents to keep those engines nice and aerated as we go along. We've got our extended swim platform there, molded in. It's nice three foot section there great place and again you can put some chairs out there and on the other side is where we have our grab rail and boarding ladder we're going to board from the other side let's go ahead here we are on the swim step of no worries we see we've got a lot of amenities back here we've got trunk storage nope some rod holders right here little place for another barbecue. In the trunk storage here, we have our shore power connections and places for our lines and fenders. Off on the port side, we see we've got a grab rail right under that. There's a four step boarding ladder to make it nice and easy to get on. We enter the vessel through this port side door right here and immediately we have our hot and cold shower. Behind this solid door here, we do have gunnel storage there. Access to the bow is from either side. We've got a molded in step here and one on the other side. Immediately in front of us, we've got a wet bar, sink, water, bottle holders right there. And then down below, we have a newer refrigerator right there. We also have more storage under the port side companion seat right there. And this seat also has its own thigh rise bolster, drink holder and grab rail. As we circle around, we see we have our helm seat up one step. Both the bucket seats have their own thigh rise bolsters there. Here at the helm, we see we've got dual Simrad electronics with a new Simrad R35 VHF radio. We also have our Clarion remote stereo control there. Separate shift and throttles. We've got our classic Sea Ray leather raft wood steering wheel, which tilts by the way. There's our other Simrad unit. The owner has them set up, one set up for radar, the other set up for GPS. Notice 
we have our touch plate right here all of our switches easy on easy off with the lights right there this upper level right here we have our four in one gauges with blue light tack miles per hour starboard tack right there the other four in one gauge you notice we've got four speakers here in this cockpit and under these seats we have even more storage now the center of activity on no worries is this area right back here we have a large u-shaped seating area there's storage up underneath now this table has a lower post also so you can use the lower post lower the table put a filler cushion right in there and enjoy this as a large sun pad side by side you and a friend or a couple of them engine access is nice and easy with the touch of a button we raise the hydraulic hatch we do have to make sure that the transom door is secured against the bulkhead and that the canvas is free If you notice, we can even leave the table up. This gives us a view into the engine compartment on this boat. Notice, for safety, we have a secondary support right here. And then right he here is where our cocktail table would store. Access around the engines is fairly easy. We do have a nice diamond step plate right there off to port we have our hot water heater holding tank and vacuum flush system these are Merc Cruiser 8.1 Horizons with fresh water cooling V drives and then off to starboard we have our generator with about 55 hours on it this bilge is nice neat clean and fairly accessible all the way around once we complete our inspection back to the helm to drop the hatch from here we're gonna go out to the foredeck, and I'm showing you this. We've got a grab rail here. Sea Ray's always been about safety. We have another grab rail right here. And then out to this large foredeck right here, fully covered, non-aggressive, non-skid. Put deck chairs, have a lounge pad made here. And this gives us access should we need to our foot pedals on the windlass, the windlass, the anchor, the anchor locker there. Circling around, this gives us a great overall view on no worries. From here, let's go inside. We enter the cabin through the center line sliding door and down four steps. This gives us an overall view of the layout. Immediately to port, we have a nice head right here, fully lined fiberglass, vacuum flush toilet, macerator overboard discharge, nice mirrored storage up there. Easy to care for, easy to clean. As we move down along, the side we've got our galley shelves up above we've got our microwave right here storage in here and then even more storage right here 
you've got a large countertop here. And when needed, we have our dual burner electric stove right there. And then there's a sink cover also. Down below, we have our refrigerator, drawer storage right there, and yet another tall cabinet. Here we are. We have a TV DVD player right there that actually pulls out so everybody in the boat can view it. Circling forward, we have a privacy curtain. This is the nice area here. We've got some hanging lockers, gunnel storage. This is a custom mattress, relatively new, about six months old. As nice as the one you have at home. You do have a step for those that need a little bit of help right there. And then as you can see along the gunnels, there's lots and lots of storage. Got a nice mirror with our hatch up above, which can be closed off for those that want to get a nap in the afternoon. More storage there. We've got our air conditioning control right there. As we move aft, we've got a hanging locker and then a seating area there. Now in this configuration, this sofa actually has a board that pulls out and can be used as an additional sleeping area. Lots of storage here. There's our TV that's hooked up to satellite and dish so we get our favorite programs all the time. Got a nice ultra leather vinyl here. As we move into the aft cabin, we have a privacy curtain. Our power panel is right here. We've got our stereo, generator, 12 volt switches, ignition, and our power lines right there. As we circle around, we see we've got more storage. And this area here is a nice seating space. This section here actually pulls out and becomes a bed. We do have another TV that's connected to the DVD player right there and more cabinet storage. No Worries is in top condition, well cared for. Check the website and see all the R&R that's been done on it. Boat is neat, clean, odor free, and shows pride of ownership. Viewer today, owner tomorrow, be on the water next week on No Worries here at South Mountain Yachts.